Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Aunt sets the clock right at 8 a.m. The clock gains 10 minutes in 24 hours. What will be the true time when the clock indicates 1 p.m. on the following day? So what is the given question? Anne is setting the clock right at 8 a.m. The clock is showing the right time at 8 a.m. After that, the clock starts to work in an unusual way. So finally, the end result is that the clock is gaining 10 minutes in 24 hours. In one day, the clock is gaining 10 minutes. So when this clock is indicating 1 p.m., what is the true time? So in the previous video, we saw that what is the time indicated by the wrong clock? That was the question. Here it is the reverse. The, the wrong time is given. You have to find out the true time or you have to find out the right time. The time shown by the wrong clock is given in the question. You have to find out the right time at that particular moment. So here it is told that the clock will be gaining 10 minutes in every 24 hours. So that means the 24 hours 10 minutes of this clock will be equal to 24 hours of a normal clock or right time or you can say 24 hours in right time. So 24 hours 10 minutes of this clock will be equal to 24 hours right time. So that means how you can equate 24 10 by 60 that is 24 1 by 6. 10 by 60 hour, 10 minutes you are converting into hour by dividing by 60. So 24 hours, 10 minutes can be expressed as 24 10 by 60. When simplifying you will be getting 24 1 by 6. So your answer will be 145 by 6 hours of this clock will be equal to 24 hours right time. So this is what is given. Now what you have to find out? You have to find out the true time when the wrong clock indicates 1 p.m. on the following day or, in the, or on the next day when it is 1 p.m. on the wrong clock, what is the right time? So 1 p.m. means how many hours have gone from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. From 8 a.m. on one day to 1 p.m. the following day. How many hours have gone? 8 to, from 8 to 8, 24 hours. Then from 8 to 1 p.m., how many hours are there? 9 hours are there. From 8 to 12, it will be 4 and then 12 to 1 again 1. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So 24 plus 5 is equal to 29 hours total. So you have to find out 29 hours in the wrong clock means how many hours in the right clock or in the true clock what it will be equivalent to. So now you have got an equation. So from that you can find out, you are just uh, dividing and seeing 145 divided by, you are just 145, 6 divided by 29 is equal to 24 divided by x. So let's give a name x to this. So 29 into 5 is equal to 145. So here you will be getting 5. So what will be your x? x will be equal to 24 into 6 divided by 5. So 24 into 6 divided by 5 which gives you 28 4 by 5. So 24 into 6 by 5 when you are expressing it as a mixed fraction you will be getting 28 4 by 5 hours. So that means 4 by 5 hour means it will be equal to 4 by 5 into 60 which gives you 4 into 12 is equal to 48. So finally you will be getting x is equal to 28 hours 48 minutes. 4 by 5 hours means 48 minutes. 12 into 4 is equal to 48. So 28 hours, 48 minutes. So what will be the time? Time will be equal to 48 minutes past 12 or it will be 12.48 pm. So the right time will be 12.48 pm but the wrong clock will be indicating 1 pm. Okay. So you understood how to do this question. You will be finding out the relation between the time in the wrong clock and the right time. So here 24 hours 10 minutes of the wrong clock is equal to 24 hours of the right clock. So 24 hours 10 minutes is equal to 24 hours. From that you will be finding out an expression 145 by 6 hours of the wrong clock is equal to 24 hours of the right clock. Then you have to find out 29 hours of the wrong clock is corresponding to how many hours of the right clock. 
So just by using the unitary method, you are just or using a proportion 145 by 6 by 29 is equal to 24 by x. You will be finding out x and then once you find out x, you can easily find out the time. 48 minutes past 12 which will be giving you 12.48 pm. So when it is actually 12.48 pm, the wrong clock will be showing you 1 pm. Now second question, John saw the clock when it is 5 am. The clock loses 8 minutes in half a day. What will be the true time when he sees the clock at 10 pm on the fourth day? So what is the given question? John is seeing the clock or the clock is set right at 5 am. Then after that the clock is losing 8 minutes in half a day. That means in 12 hours. Half a day means 12 hours. The clock will be losing 8 minutes. So when he is see seeing 10 pm on the fourth day. On the fourth day when John sees 10 pm, what will be the true time? So same way you have to find a relation between the time in the wrong clock and time in the right clock. That is the first step. So the clock is losing 8 minutes in half day. So that means in one day how much it will be losing? It will be losing 16 minutes. 16 minutes lost in one day. The wrong clock will be losing 16 minutes in one day. So how you can form the equation? So 23 hours 44 minutes of the wrong clock it is losing 16 minutes or it is 16 minutes lagging behind the right clock. So 23 hours 44 minutes of wrong clock is equal to 24 hours of right clock. So that is the first step. Now you are just simplifying this 44 minutes means you can write it as 44 by 60. So 23, 44 by 60. So 23, 11 by 15. 44, 11 into 4 is equal to 44 and 15 into 4 is equal to 60. So 23, 11 by 15. So again you can write it as 356 by 15. 23 into 15 plus 11 will give you 356. So 356 divided by 15 aways of wrong clock will be equal to 24 hours of the right clock. Now you have to find out what will be the true time when the wrong clock shows 10 pm on the fourth day. So fourth day means how many hours are there? So 5 am from 5 am on, onwards you have to calculate. So first day 5 am then second day 5 am third day again 5 am and fourth day 10 pm. So these three will give you 24 into one day means 24 hours. So 24 hour into 3 is equal to 72 you will be getting. Then on the last day you will be having 5 am to 10 pm. So 5 am to 10 pm means how many hours are there? 5 to 5 12. Then again uh, from 5 to 10 again 5 is there. So 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. So total it will be 72 plus 17 which gives you 89. So 89 hours of wrong clock is corresponding to how many hours of right clock that is your question. So you have to find out what is this equivalent to let us give it as x. So your aim is to find out x. So you can just form an equation 356 by 15 by 89 will be equal to 24 divided by x. 89 into 4 is equal to 356. So you will be getting again you can divide here so 6 you will be getting here. So finally you will be getting it as x is equal to 15 into 6 which gives you 90 hours. So 89 hours of wrong clock will be equal to 90 hours of right clock. That means what will be the correct time? So correct time will be equal to 11 pm. So when it is actually 11 pm, the wrong clock will be showing only 10 pm because it is 1 hour less. 89 hours of the wrong clock is actually equal to 90 hours or you can say 90 hours of the right clock. So the right time will be 11 pm. Thank you for watching.